Before I even reveal the brands of this laptop, what are the budgets of this laptop, which laptop has costed me what cost, comment down what are these three laptops and which brand these laptops belong to. And if you are interested to watch this kind of video, make sure you like and share it with your friends because in this video, I'll be giving you detailed explanation what each laptop comes with and how it has helped me to land my dream job. So let's get started into this video. So I have three laptops with me and uh, every laptop has helped me uh, to get job itself. So let me start with one of the very first laptop and uh, everyone should be aware right before even starting the content creation journey or I, I would say probably in my 10th class in 2010, I have purchased this laptop Dell Inspiron N5010. Now this is one of the best laptops at that point of time and it costed me around 43,000 rupees and 2000 I have given uh, for the insurance. So total it costed me for 45,000 rupees. And at that point of time, it was one of the best laptop, 95 watt charger, graphic card and whatnot, 15.6 inch uh, screen. And if you can see the sleek design and the uh, and you can see here how the panels have been designed and it was one of the top notch uh, laptop at that point of time. But unfortunately, unfortunately, once I purchased within one year issues started with this laptop. So almost you can say like 2011, this system had so many issues and for your information, I used to play GTA Vice City right at that point of time and very good games on this laptop, but it started giving me so many issues. So first issue which this laptop gave me was the hard disk. Now the hard disk got corrupted and I had to replace the hard disk, which again costed me 3,500. So I was thinking like rather than going to buy a new laptop, why not let go and make this laptop workable with 3,500 rupees. So you can estimate the cost now within one year, this hard disk got crashed and I replaced the hard disk for 3,500 rupees, 500 GB hard disk. Okay. so. And again, it started working. Okay. And after six months, uh, the again, the second issue started that is your screen not working. So you can see here how big the screen is. The screen got struck and it stopped working. So I took to the Dell care center and they told me that uh, your screen has to be uh, changed. And even though it was covered under warranty because it was one year, six months, like one year, they told every parts are covered under warranty and all those things. They had costed me around eight to 9,000 rupees to change this screen. Not only that later point of time after using for two years, uh, its adapter went wrong. It was not giving the power uh, source to this laptop. So I have to change power adapter also for 2000 rupees. So almost all you can see, I, I have purchased it for two, two, in 2010 for 45,000 rupees. It went to 60,000 close to and at this point of time, it is not working. Okay, so I have just kept it. I want to keep the old things as part of my memory. So I have kept this with me till now, though I have <laughs> repaired every part of it. I, I opened everything. I, I, I checked all its CPU memory, RAM, right? And how much is the hard disk? Every part of this laptop I have checked. I've opened the screws and everything. And if any engineer is watching me, you should be able to uh, agree with me that if we have anything at home, we are curious to know like what is inside it. And if it is in the, in the not working condition, we definitely become curious to look after these things. So definitely, this Dell uh, is very strong, robust uh, company is a large brand, but the thing is it didn't work for me. So anyone who is starting their career as a DevOps engineer or as a SARI engineer or as a fresher, you want to buy a laptop, Dell you can consider, but just check, don't go randomly and buy anything in the shop. First try to go five to six shops, which are nearby to your local. Also check the same model uh, on the on the internet, what are their reviews. Also, please note, go to the Dell authorized centers. I purchased this from Reliance Store. I'm not telling Reliance Store is bad or something, but my intention was if I was a little bit more matured or I would have checked YouTube, I would have come to know that, okay, I have to go to Dell authorized centers because they carry laptops which are, I mean, stronger, which can sustain to the higher stability standards of a candidate like coding and all those things. So they have some models like online and offline models are also placed. Be sure you know everything before you buy because it's a very hard and money that we have kept and you are aware, right? So I'm a student uh, in the class 10. For me, getting 45,000 from my parents was literally difficult. So don't do that mistake. Go to the Dell authorized centers, check for the prices, check for the reviews, check with them like, 
how many years this product has been running with you. Some particular models will be there which are long running models. Now the next brand is that kind of model. After this laptop went bad, within three to four years, I had to change to the next laptop, which is my HP, okay? This, this HP laptop is, uh, I would say, <clears throat> I, I will just tell you, uh, okay, yes, it, it, it is 15 AC 122 TU, very beautiful laptop, sleek design and uh, very good. And by that time, I because the first laptop gave me so many issues, I was matured enough to understand what kind of laptop is prefer preferable for me uh, to, to work with code, to work with uh, uh, electrical uh, components. Like I, I used to do some projects in the in the, uh, in the the BTEC engineering. So I had taken this 122 TU HP and uh, it's one of the best decision I have made. So it also has 500 GB of hard disk, 4 GB RAM, 15.6 uh, uh, inch uh, screen. And you can see here how the sleek design of board looks like. And and you know what half of the price of the first laptop I got this okay so that is very very much interesting right and uh, you should be very much aware that uh, this laptop has really really helped me in giving so many interviews so 2014 or 15 I purchased this laptop and uh, almost all 2020 21 and still it is in working condition so all my different kinds of offer letters all the meetings 2019 to 20 the wears on to walmart shift every interview i have taken in this laptop and i i really love this laptop it's it's one of my luckiest laptop and that's why i have kept with me and yes though it's little bit <coughs> what you say like Slow now, slower now uh, is not giving that much performance like the earlier uh, it used to give, but still it is one of my uh, best laptop I can say. No complaints, no issues, still running very good. Uh, maybe after uh, after three, four years, I had replaced its battery for around 2000 rupees, but still it's worth because it's still having the battery life of two, uh, two hours or one and a half hour close to if I give it a full charge. So a thumbs up for the HP brand to make such laptop. And yes, the cost of this laptop was 28,500 and it included a HP bag, HP mouse and some accessories. Again, this I have bought it from the HP authorized show Showroom. So it's very good you go ahead and buy some laptops which are directly in the showroom, right? I mean authorized centers. Now after till using 2022, again I joined Walmart. So uh, at that point of time I was thinking like okay which laptop to buy and again I was looking for HP laptop only because this as I have told you is one of the one of the best laptop that I have got it. So definitely uh, it's very good uh, for me to have this kind of laptop. But 2020 to 2023, it was a journey of transition. I started creating content. So I was looking for more sleek, right? More powerful and more compact uh, design of laptop. So that is the reason now you have a MacBook Air. So this laptop I am using for last four years and I would say a gem of gem, right? So it is ultimate then Dell, then the HP. Uh, it is on the very higher price. So double the price of Dell and triple or four times the price of your uh, HP laptop. But, 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 but no complaints till now. I have been using this for last four years, almost 2022 to 2026. You can understand and no complaints and Yes, it has it has given me so much things. Uh, now every interview I take in this, every lecture of my class I teach in this, and uh, it's it's a uh, eight GB RAM and a two fifty six GB of memory. Though it is it was not sufficient for me. Uh, so what I did was I I took a Apple uh, you can say like Apple I, iCloud storage right again for monthly charge and I have some storage from there also. So it's sufficing my needs and uh, you can see here though uh, I am not good at uh, maintaining. Uh, uh, like cleanliness but yeah you can see here the sleek design the display and yes very easy to carry and you can carry with one hand you can rotate you can play so that that is what the mac is mac apple is apple so definitely it's one of the best segment but for college student which one is best among the three laptops right that is one of the interesting question and important question that everyone will ask you so if your budget is very low okay so go with hp laptop 4 gb ram 500 gb hard disk will be very much sufficient for your regular activities coding and everything can be handled in this laptop for a certain extent of time until you get a job if your intention is on a slightly higher level of budget definitely go to dell but again uh, dell has because this laptop was not uh, good to me it didn't give me f <laughs> what i was expecting but on a slight on a heavier note it's really heavy bulkier stronger uh, you can definitely check for the models that are running in the market again five uh, four gb ram 
and 500 GB of hard disk should be sufficient for you to carry this laptop and yeah, good deal. If you are a very good, you are having a very good budget again for a college student, 8 GB RAM, 256 GB of storage is very much more than enough. You can do coding, you can run games, you can play and it doesn't get heated up. So very sleek, very, very beautiful and you can see no scratches till now. And uh, yes, very, very good things are there and uh, that's all I have to tell you. But apart from this, I will give you some more links which I have researched in the uh, in different kinds of portals, which you can go and definitely buy. So if you have liked this video, like this video, share the link with your channel, with your friends who are preparing for software engineering roles or DevOps roles, or SRE roles and get me a thumbs up. So with that said, I'm ending this video. If you have any questions, comment down and I will definitely answer. This is Praveen signing off from this video. Meet you in the next video.